Infinity Briser, and in today's YouTube video, we are going to be unboxing Fireheart. Now, if y'all don't know, Fireheart is the very first release of the Premiere Club this year, and he was supposed to come out in May, I think, and it's now July, so there was a bit of a delay there, but before we get into this, it is Thursday, the Thursday before Briarfest, y'all, so happy day early, Briarfest. I'm literally so excited. One quick little announcement is that for my Briarfest restock, which is happening tomorrow morning, I did bump up the time from 9 a.m. Central Time to 8 a.m. Central Time for the sole purpose of, I had some people saying that's exactly the same time that Briarfest was starting was the 9 a.m., so I was like, I don't want anybody to stress out about this, and if you want some of my bean clothes, you can be there at 8 in the morning for Central Time, which is 9 Eastern Time, 7 Mountain Time, and 6 California. All items will be going live then. I've got more items to make today. Oh my gosh, the last minute, am I right? But without any further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and open Fireheart. All right. Ooh. Okay, here he is in his box. So here is his box and let me just say Fireheart is amazing. I am a huge Athurl fan, but I think he might be cooler than the Athurl mold. Sorry, Apollo. But first, here's a nice overview of his box. Sorry, my ring light's kind of just getting in there. It's got photos of him on the side. Here's the back. I don't know how well you can see that. But that's just a nice overview. These boxes are super cool. I don't ever keep them though, just because there's really no reason to. I don't collect boxes, so. Here we go into unboxing. We got his COA, which I'm gonna leave in its nice wrapper just so it doesn't get messed up. It's a bubble wrap, also don't need that. And then we got Fireheart in his velvet sack. So excited! All right, can y'all see him? He's definitely upside down. You can't really see him that well. I'm so excited. He is already gorgeous. Three, two, one. Well, sort of a box, not really all the way, but ooh, honestly a lot skinnier than what I thought he was gonna be. I kind of thought he was gonna be a chunky boy. He's actually supposed to be a Mustang to my knowledge. <gasps> People are already customizing him, and let me just say, I'm gonna have to get some customs. Hopefully for Briarfest, I can find one. Wow, okay. All time favorite Premier Club model would 100% be Fireheart. The name that I have picked for him is actually going to be Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. The reason I chose that is because Astrid is actually the second Premier Club release, and when I saw her, I was like, that is the perfect Astrid. What the heck? So I knew this boy had to be Hiccup. This color is gorgeous, but I'm so happy that Briar did a nice kind of small Appaloosa blanket. The pearly mane and tail just go so well with this coat color and his hooves are really detailed. They've sculpted feathering to be on top of his hooves. Y'all literally need a close-up of this guy right now. So let's get to that. Hmm. <laughs> Look at how awesome this guy is. All right, hold up. Just a quick overview of his color, which I got a really nicely shaded one, y'all. Look at how crazy dark that coat color is. I'm honestly not 100% sure what color he is, but let me just say, I'm obsessed. So if we just start with a close-up of his face, look at the amount of detail he has, y'all. He's got so much muscling and so many curves. And look at the eyes on this bee. His mouth is so detailed, his cheek is so detailed, his neck is so detailed, his butt is so detailed. Literally just blown away by this guy. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of give y'all an overview of his mane. I would really just compare this guy to a Thurl and just say that he's the new and improved one, I guess. Don't worry, Apollo, you're still my favorite. So as we come this way, you can tell that his mane has been sculpted to kind of be falling onto his neck on this side, which brings us down into his very detailed shoulder. Look at the muscling on this guy. And as we come down here, I'm gonna try to get a good shot of this. If y'all can tell, they have sculpted feathering to be on top of his hoof. Now that is so cool because if we look at a different mold like Silver, his hoofs just kind of blend in and then Lotor doesn't have any. Just overall, this is not something that I would 
would have expected from Briar, which makes it even cooler. And as we work our way this way, you can tell that even his leg markings have mapping on them. If we go to his barrel, you can see he's got rich, gorgeous dapples. Coming up here, here is his blanket Appaloosa marking, which is very minimal, and I highly appreciate that because that really lets his color shine through. And look at this cool detail they added. He's got some fur going into his tail. Oh, right, so here's a headshot of this guy. Look at that face marking. Oh my God, he's so detailed. And if we come onto his offside, you can tell he actually does have a bit more shading on this side where he's a little bit lighter toward his face and then it definitely darkens out when you get to his flank. There is just as much detailing on this side, but one thing I did notice is that the ear on this side is kind of connected to the mane and then the ear on his show side is away from the mane. Just thought that was a fun little detail. So as we work our way down, here's his nice flowing mane and he does have some pieces that are falling onto this side of his neck too. Cut them neck wrinkles, ooh. Here's his shoulder and then we'll just go ahead and head on down to his legs. He's got very detailed sculpting in his hooves. Just as many dapples on this side and here is a look at his blanket on this side. His blanket's so much darker than the rest of him. And I do kind of like that these look kind of dirty. They look like he's a Mustang, which is what he is. So good job, Briar. That looks awesome. What a fun little swoosh. And then last but not least, we got that booty shot. I'm just gonna do a few size comparisons. So here we have him next to Chewbacca. He's honestly not that much bigger than the Ethereal Mold. I think he might just be a little bit taller because of his mane. And then here he is next to the Loping Quarter Horse Mold. Overall, I'd say that this guy was highly worth the wait. I am absolutely blown away by the amount of detail that Briar gave him. And he has quickly become my brand new favorite Premier Club model ever. Hiccup, you are a king. Wow. Don't need that. <laughs> He's perfect. Ow, that was my jaw. Well, that's probably not good. Hopefully y'all enjoyed your close up of Hiccup. Now, let me just say, this is going to be a new favorite in my collection. Apollo, you do have some competition now. I'm obsessed. Hiccup, ow, what the hurt? <gasps> that actually hurt really bad. What the heck? Ow, watch out for his ear. All right, y'all, so that's actually been the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please get a that like button as hard as you possibly can show this YouTube video and pick up a little bit of love. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars. I post on there daily and I'm super active on there. Also, you get Briar Fest news about my restock, which is happening tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central Time on my website. Link in the description down below. And also, Briar Trot and I will be hosting some Kahoot games. I will put the little slide of information here. Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and then Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time. If you're interested in doing a Kahoot game, there are four categories, all Briarfest related with 20 questions each. Briar Trot and I will be hosting that on Instagram Live and it'll be so much fun and just kind of a great place to hang out. And the winner of each category will be getting a halter set made by me, which I still need to make. <laughs> That's a today thing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. And other than that, y'all, this guy's adorable. I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! Honestly, I can come back if he's not here. It's okay. He said he'd be back soon. He just had to run a quick errand or something. Okay. Any minute now. This is so annoying. He's not coming back anytime soon. You have to go make Bear set. <laughs> you got a funny dog, man. It's not mine. It's Jedi's. And it's not a dog. I can tell myself a dog fast. I don't know when it's going to take Jedi to get back. Don't you have bars to be trying to saw off or something? Uh, I've been trying to use my teeth, but it's just not working. All right. Well, this has been fun, but I'm going to come back later when Jedi's actually here. How long does it take to actually make a bareback set? This is ridiculous. Oof, I have an idea. Which is? You let me out, I let you live. No.